Hello everybody. After an almost two months wait, I finally got my laser cutter. Or engraver with cutting potential. I settled on the Neye Master 2 Plus with a 40 watt laser. That was a new way that's 40 watt input. It ships with various bits of bobs and some handy international plug converters. Power supply 12 volts, 4 amps, so 48 watts. Hmm, that's cutting it a bit close. The Y axis pre assembled. Ooh, cool, it comes with the safety glasses. And the X axis. And this is the business end. All the safety warnings. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, that's 40 watt input and it's about 15 watt optical out. That right there is the laser LED and some optical protection. Assembly is straightforward, just a couple of connectors for the motors and align the holes on the x-axis with the screws on the y-axis. In the bits and bobs bag, there are a few nuts to tighten it all down. There's also some sample material to cut with engrave, so cardboard, acrylic, wood, a brush, I don't know what that is, some aluminum, uh, brackets, allen key, and small spanner. Connect the laser with this little cable and then it just slides into this back bracket which you can then just tighten with the allen key. And done! Now I just need somewhere to put it. Sorry old 3D printer, time to make way for the new laser. On the tutorial page inside the software, you can get a bit more detail. See, it says 40 watt input, 15 watt optical out, which, to be fair, is still quite high for a laser bio. The photo gallery has tons of stuff, but I suggest if you like something, you right click and add it to favorites because it's quite hard to find if you scroll away. Once you selected a picture, you can just click on it. It'll take you to this page where you change the size and align your picture with the physical laser. Okay, enough messing around, let's cut something. Oh, okay, wait, this does not look right. Yep, that's way too much power. I had it on about 50% power with 30 millisecond burn time. Okay, this time we'll try with 10% power and 10 millisecond burn time.
that looks way better. Nice clean cut. Trying some thicker cardboard, 50% power and 10 millisecond burn time. Oh no, it's on fire. Where's the stop? How do you stop this thing? Yeah, that was just too much power again. Just note to yourself and anyone listening, there is no emergency stop and the software will ask if you're sure. I tried a few more times on the thicker cardboard, but actually found it quite hard to cut all the way through without starting a fire, of course. Tried some other materials as well. This is 3mm balsa wood, 50% power, 10 millisecond burn time with 3 passes. This one cut all the way through without burning. Also tried some 3mm foam rubber, power was 10%, burn time 10 milliseconds in a single pass. Just about made it through. Anyway, thanks for watching.